serious we should be, even more so when trying to pass a test that your designer has designed specifically for you. Good morning, y'all. It is Wednesday morning. It is about 10 a.m. I've been working for about two and a half hours and Munchkin is asleep. He fell asleep on me after he fed. He didn't want to be put down. And so, yeah, I am just sitting here holding him, getting work done around him. I just turned off my screen so y'all can see, but yeah, I'm at work, um, at home, which, oh Lord, praise the Lord. Today's vlog, because I haven't hopped on here and done a vlog in a while, but you all are going to spend the work day with me and we have a busy day ahead of us. I'm going to try to get some laundry done while I am at work, which is the best thing about working from home. Um. Uh, I'm gonna get some things done around the house. I am going to do a little get ready with me because I have somewhere to go. And that somewhere to go is to teach our church's women's Bible study tonight. So I wanna take you all along with me to that. Um, so, yeah, so my son here had a little bit of a blowout. <laughs> He's laughing. Had a little bit of a blowout this morning. So I stripped his little changing table over there. As you can see, there's like no cover on it. And I was like, let me just throw everything that I have into the laundry right now um, and just get a load done. So I'm doing laundry at the moment. <laughs> and I wanted to do my hair because, y'all, these braids are like, they've been in for like a month now. But I'm not going to have time. I have been like down to the wire. There are so many things going on at once. But honestly, I have to praise God. Like, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> Just a little bit overwhelmed, okay? Um, which will be the case for the next few weeks because um, as I have, oh, Munchkin, as I've told you all, I'm preparing for graduation. And so I'm gonna graduate uh, the 10th of May. And so it is coming up fast. And even though I'm like technically walking in the graduation or the commencement ceremony, I won't be finished with all of my seminary classes. And so I'm taking the rest of my seminary classes okay. over the summer and so typically when someone graduates you got to get all your work turned in early like a few weeks before graduation and that is the case for me so the classes that I'm in right now which is it's one class and my internship but all of that work I have to get it done and turned in in the next two weeks okay. so that I can have it done a few weeks prior to graduation okay. even though I'm taking summer okay. classes but we won't complain. We won't complain. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like crunch time because mm -hmm. I have papers and things due for class. Mm -hmm. I have finals to prepare for. I'm also interning. I also work full time. I'm also the keeper of my home. Like, it's just a lot. But God is giving me grace through mm -hmm. it because mm -hmm. I don't know. Some days I'm like, I'm so tired. Munchkin has been teething and he hasn't been sleeping well some nights he's super fussy and I just feel so bad for him but it's like I'm up all night like feeding him and nursing him like back and forth between me and my husband it's just a lot we are both like walking zombies but God is giving us the grace to show up and so because I'm like it's not me it is not me at all I would have keeled over somewhere the fact that like I have the energy to get through my days and like continue to do things after work I'm like it is nothing but the Lord yeah I just thank God for all of the blessings these are all things that I prayed for so how dare I sit here and complain because my plate is full like I prayed for this yep plate is full but we are making it and so I am just gonna try to get through the rest of this day and get a few errands done and breaks in between time and continue to go over my manuscript because I am teaching tonight and I'm so excited y'all this is the largest crowd I have ever taught it's like hundreds of women that come to our women's bible study and I'm one of the youngest ones and I don't know if they even know who I am like it's just crazy but I'm trying to keep myself centered like I'm staying busy with work and so just trying to stay focused on, I'm getting up here to deliver this message. I, yes, am the person that you see before you. I am the messenger, but I am trying to direct you and point you back to Jesus. This anxiety and these nerves that I feel is just, it's from pridefulness. 
And so I've just been trying to redirect my mind in that way and just keep myself focused and centered on Jesus, whether people clap or not, whether people like it or not, whether I stumble on my words, no matter what happens, but just be, um, just know that I am preaching for the Lord and his satisfaction and his approval only. And so I've been keeping my mind fixed on that. But yeah, so that's what we got going on today. kind of straightened out so that it doesn't it's not super wrinkly and things like that whenever I do come back to fold them but yeah it would take me way too long like I would be away from my desk for entirely too long and so working from home for me uh, it's kind of awesome because you can get a lot of things done throughout the day but how I do it is I'm not gonna like go do laundry, go cook a meal, go fold my clothes, and like just be completely away from my desk and my team's being active. Like, girl, it's giving, you're getting fired. Um, no, so I just like, I will try to get things done throughout the day and I will calculate it into my break time. So if I know, oh, it's gonna take me like 10 minutes to go throw the laundry in and get it out and I'm not gonna fold it because that would take even longer. Um, then I'm gonna take 10 minutes off of my break. So I know that I have an hour break every single day. Well, if I take 10 minutes off of that, all right, I know I got 50 minutes. If I have to feed the baby and he just wants to be a Velcro baby and he doesn't want me to work around him, um, if I have to get up and change him a few times, like I calculate all of that time into my break times. So I might take a 30 minute break and that's fine for me because that's pretty normal anyways. And when I was working as a nurse at the hospital, I had way less time than that sometimes, especially during the height of the pandemic. Um, it was times where, you know, I was just like shoving food in my face in the break room and trying to hurry up and get back out to my patient. So I'm so grateful. It's like, I'm just, I'm sitting at a desk. I can eat, drink, all that while I'm at the, de <laughs> at the desk. So yeah, that's kind of how I see it. Like I try to break everything down where I'm not away from my desk too long. Like see, look. I just straightened all this stuff out and I can go get back to work. I just put the baby down to sleep. I am trying to be quiet because I need him to stay asleep in order to go over my manuscript. So inside of here, I have my manuscript. I typed it up and I printed it out and then I also have my laptop. And I'm going to show you all like what everything looks like and kind of go through my process with you just in case anyone's interested. So my text is 1 Samuel and I'm just going to be going through Hannah's story. So I kind of just copied and pasted the entire section of 1 Samuel um, and this is just the first page. This is the rest. I'm going to be stopping here and I have a Bible software. It's called Lagos Bible Software. And I just go in there and read all of the things. I read the text over and over. Oh, there's a little one. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Okay. He is literally fighting for his life. But that's okay. Um, but anywho, so I will go through the text over and over and over again. Um just to see what you see first of all what do you see and so i used to i used to read the text and just immediately jump into interpretation but it's so important to just reread it reread it reread it look at what's actually there absorb all of the things so that's what i do um and i make those observations and just kind of notate like what i see highlight circle like i have a whole process of what the highlights and the circles mean but that's neither here nor there because everybody's process is different um and then i read commentaries i read the information that lagos has available um, whether that is lexicons dictionaries looking things up what does this word mean what does this mean in um the hebrew because we're in the old testament and so just looking at all of those things first and just making nothing but observations observing 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 and then interpret well what does this mean 
and then apply. And the way that this um, teaching is kind of set up for our church is our pastor, who is phenomenal, preaches on Sunday and then the Wednesday night Bible studies for either the men or for the women kind of um, are an adjunct to what he has taught. And so he covered healing on Sunday. So I'm going to be talking about healing tonight. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited and I just want to go over it. And I guess I'm going to go over it for, for him. And so what I do is like, I kind of just read word for word, everything that I have, and then I will recite it. Um, and I still do it with notes. Like I'm not trying to memorize it, but I want to internalize it enough to where I can kind of go off base. Um, and if the Holy Spirit moves and is like, he's like, you need to say this. All right. <laughs> you know, I have the freedom to do so. And y'all, I don't know if you can tell, but it is almost 2 p.m. It is so dark outside. It looks like it's bright outside, but it's dark. It's super rainy. Um, I saw online that it was hailing in some places. And so I'm like, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, please clear up the skies before uh, we have to leave and, and head to church. But yep so i am just going to go over my manuscript a few times uh while i'm on my break eat a little bit he just ate and went down for a nap so he actually should still be asleep but i think he heard me i think i was making too much noise so yeah we'll do that and then we'll hop back in to finish the rest of the work day <laughs> Hey y'all, sorry. So I was gonna do the whole get ready with me thing, but little man was asleep. And if you are a mama, you know, like I had to hurry up and like try to get ready while he was asleep or else he was gonna need something. And it was gonna be hard for me to try to get ready and like nurse him and change him and feed him and all the things at the same time. So I just hurried up and got ready. I just have on a little like purple jumpsuit and yeah we are ready to go so let's go because it's 6 p.m and bible study starts at 7. the messenger doesn't get up until like 7 25 7 30 but still um let's go So I wore this first and left the house at about one o'clock and then apparently she wanted to match me. So, so it's not the same color. <laughs> and mine is cute in here. In my head, in my head, I knew that I was going to wear this. But y'all, oh my gosh, it went so hey, well. Nate. Good job, mama. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Munchkin was there. He was in the back with his dad and he did really good. Yeah, the baby did 
fantastic. He did not cry the whole time. So, yeah, it went so good. Oh, proud of me. Yep. Yeah, really good job. So comfortable, or you look comfortable. I look comfortable. <laughs> the baby, he's, you he's trying to get your your input. What, in. what did you think? That's what you thought. <laughs> you seem comfortable and confident and clear. And clear. Someone told me that. That is, yeah, that is my main thing is being clear. Yeah, I think it's all about. <laughs> and being able to follow. You want your listeners to be able to follow your speaking. And that's that's the benefit of teaching verse by verse. I taught verse very by verse. It's easy to follow you. So it was really, really good. Then you just, you, you, you focused on the text. And then you have people like, okay, let me make these observations and then let's get back to the text. So that it was, it was text centered mm -hmm. teaching. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love when he, like when he says it, I'm like, oh, because he's such a great teacher and he teaches with so much clarity and like, he just, yeah. So it just warms my little heart that he, that he thought I did well. Um, and that he thought that the teaching was good. So yeah, y'all, thanks for, um, coming along with me for this long day. Got to take care of the kiddo. He's hungry. So I will see y'all next time. Thank you all. Bye.